what's up y'all welcome back to another video and welcome to my channel if you are new here hey girl hey thank you so much for joining me for today's video today's video is a paid collaboration with a company called lifewit and i am so excited to share with you guys some of these things that they sent me so as you guys know going into the new year the first thing we think is organization organizing our homes getting that fresh start just getting everything in order and in place for the new year right so this video is for you if you have been looking for some storage hacks and just all things storage for your home for 2022 so i'm going to share with you guys everything that they sent me i'm going to open it up with you guys so the first thing are these let me open them up so you guys can see so I like black because it's just real right to the point and sleek. So they are these. Wow, this is a nice size. Wow, okay. So if I open it up. So one, these have like handles on the sides as you guys can see. And it's pretty deep. Okay pretty deep so they sent me three of these large little storage things you could store like comforters in these I plan on putting some of my kids comforters in these only because my kids have a ton of blankets and comforters I find myself buying comforters and blankets all the freaking time for them so i just like for them to have options to change out so i feel like these will be perfect to store some comforters in but not only comforters anything that you choose i like that it has like this little clear window in the front it's perfect um also these right here is what i'm really excited about because you guys know i have that cubicle in the living room which i was allowing the kids to put shoes um on as they came in and Quan would I Quan and I would put our shoes on it as well I'm so winded you guys 36 weeks okay <laughs> um but Quan and I would put our shoes on it as well but lately with this nesting and just me feeling like it's just stuff sitting on stuff these right here are going to help so these are the little cubicle bins y'all know these are good for if you have the little cubicle things not even just that you can store these at the top of closets and put them in your um linen closet you guys know that we don't have a linen closet but it comes with like this little board that you sit at the bottom to make it to fill out the space like this and here's what it looks like I love the black and the tan. I don't know, black it just spoke to me. So I'm gonna be putting these on my cubicle shelf. Like I said, you can put toys in this. If you have kids who have cubicles in their room, these are great for like those little miscellaneous toys, linen closets, put some rags, some towels. If you wanna put this in your closet, um, just different. These can be used all around you guys. So I was super excited that they sent me these and they sent me six. So it came with six. So I can't wait to show you guys what they look like on our cubicle in there. Next thing is in this box, you guys. I'm gonna have to open it up here. So let's see if we can get this out. It's wrapped really well, you guys. Mm. Let's just put this out to the side. Okay. So these right here, oh my gosh, we all love these clear little containers. I'm gonna show you guys, they sent 22 different pieces. So these are great for like drawers. Um, let's see, bathroom sinks. If you're trying to organize a drawer in your room, put different little stuff in here like makeup so they sent me this size right here these are here this size um 
And then they also sent let's see, this longer size as well. I don't have too many drawers in here, but um, these are really nice. Like I'm definitely excited to use these, especially like when we move. So I might store these up and save them for our move because oh my gosh these will be perfect to just like organize in the kids bathrooms my bathroom in our new home so they sent me a lot of these you guys like a ton so then i have this big clear one as well i can also put because y'all know i have my little bedside nursery over there in the corner for kamari and i was trying to find a place for me to like store his little bottles um for like bedside bottles so this little tray right here i could put like my little breast pump y'all this is just perfect like you could use these anywhere in your home so these little clear acrylic plastic things are so perfect for storing things so i just want to say thank you so much life with for reaching out with me to collaborate with you guys if you guys are interested in any of these items that I showed you, please go down in the description box and check out those links. They will be right there for you guys. I am so grateful. Um, I feel like my life has been made so much easier with just these few little storage things that I was able to do around the house to kind of help with my nesting itch. So yeah, you guys be sure to check out those links. Now let's just jump right into today's vlog. Okay. Y'all had to put my hair up because the hot flashes plus the curls, it's just, it's too much for your girl. So I put it up on the top. I'm trying, I was supposed to be flat earning it again, but I would just didn't feel like it. Like I just wasn't up for it and I really want to get it braided, but I was trying to time it with the timing that I was going to go in labor, but I don't know when I'm going to go in labor. So I'm probably not going to be able to get it braided um i'll probably end up not getting it braided for labor this will be the first time i never got my hair braided before i went in labor but oh well i'll be rocking this or the straight hair we'll see um if i don't get like induced or nothing i honestly don't think i'm going to get induced simply because try to turn it down he's already like super low and the contractions that i've had this past week are like non-stop so yeah i'm about to eat a this is my favorite pizza ever the margarita pizza with like the mozzarella cheese and the tomatoes and the spinach the kids are eating peanut butter and jelly sandwiches right now um kwan is at work at the shop please wake up baby it's hot um kwan is at the shop so he'll probably be home a little bit later once he leaves there I have a doctor's appointment tomorrow. Um, I will be 36 weeks and five days tomorrow. So we have to check on baby and check to see if I'm dilated any. Um, I really want this little boy to come next week, y'all. I'm not going to rush him, but I want him to come next week. I'll be full term and I want him to make his arrival. Okay, before Charlie's birthday. Charlie's birthday is next Saturday. And I don't want to be in the hospital for her birthday. I was in the hospital for King's birthday said, when I gave birth to Keegan. I said, um, I felt I said horrible. This. I said, if mommy goes to the hospital for, um, what again, mommy? What, baby? For my birthday. Mm -hmm. If mommy goes to the hospital for my birthday, guess what? I'm going to be sad. No. I'm going to cry. Right. So, I don't want her to be sad. So, hopefully he comes before or after so that I can celebrate with her Juan bought me some cookies the other day when him and Charlie went to the store and these are the best peanut butter cookies I've ever had in my life okay he got them from Food Lion and they are so good they have like peanut butter chunks in them bomb my pizza is done and it looks so good I'm about to cut me a few slices and go sit on the couch and probably turn on my show and dig into this deliciousness. 
Well, I thought I was going to come in here and watch my show, but um, someone has other plans for me. So I guess we'll be watching Bubble Guppies <laughs> while we enjoy our pizza. You know you're a mom when you don't care which plate you get. And by the way, ignore these nails. I caught myself trying to paint them the other day, and yeah. I'm just sitting right here looking at King, and I cannot believe my baby has gotten so big. He's about to be eight years old. He's reading. He's just so smart. Tell everybody about your tooth. He forgot to put his tooth underneath the pillow. Yeah. Come here, let me see. It's gone. Where's it at? Oh, right. Here's it. And your tooth, okay. You can't forget to put it underneath there tonight, okay? Yeah. Let me see where it fell out at. I can't believe how big you're getting. You're not allowed to grow up. <laughs> Are you ready to be eight? Yeah. You don't have school tomorrow either. I just, I know you haven't had school all week. Are you happy about that? Yeah, you're my all nighter. It goes back all the way to the start. Yeah, this old already my tooth is still out. Mhm. Guess what? I get more weekends off. You gonna tell your teacher about your tooth falling out? Mm -hmm. Yeah. They're my noodles. I see cheese. Yeah. So handsome. Um, I was about to ask you something. When do you think your brother's gonna come? Mm -hmm. On Cha Cha's birthday. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh! What make you say Cha Cha's birthday? Because I thought it was gonna be fall. You know Cha Cha's birthday is next weekend. No. It's next Saturday. What should we do? You should just, um, what are you gonna get her? What are you gonna get her for her birthday? Um, she said, she said, um, a dinosaur squish. I mean, those squishy things that um has like those, those different colors come out of it, and it's like it could be red, and then white, and he squishes orange. Oh, okay, you wanna get that for her? She said she wants. It. Okay, we'll go get her that from her brothers. Do you wanna yeah. get her a card? Yeah, you should make her a Maybe we should go out and go buy her some things together. Like, you, me, and Man Man. Mm, but she did a car like this. If, 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 you're, um, if you're at the doctor, um, you should do this. Oh, sorry, I'm not um, there, Charlie, but um, we got you um, a lot of presents. Uh -huh. I'll, see, I'll, I'll see you when, um, when, it's, when, when um, I'm I get home. Yes, yes. Yeah, yeah. But you know what, though? If I do go in labor on her birthday, mommy hopes that I don't. But I hope he comes either before or after so that I can celebrate with her. But if I do, that means I'll be bringing home your baby brother. You excited? <laughs> King is an awesome brother, so I know he's going to be super excited. He's always helpful. It's like anything that I need help with, Kingston is always right there. Anything, literally anything, you guys. He wants to get me drinks. Yeah, even when I say, like, never mind, King, I don't need you. He's like, oh, like, he wants to help me so bad. He's so sweet. I cannot believe the little man that you've grown up to be. I'm proud of you. Are you ready for your baby brother? Yeah? It's my birthday tomorrow. Your birthday's not tomorrow. Your birthday's in a few months. In a few months. <laughs> Yes. Yeah. Good job. Look at the baby. He's moving. Yeah, look at him. Is he in the cow? Nope. They're nice and warm. He's <laughs> You feel him moving? You ready for him to come? You gonna help mommy out? Yeah? Can't wait. We're putting in an eviction notice soon. <laughs>